Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my step-by-step -step at home manicure tutorial. So if you want to know how I get the perfect salon manicure nails at home, then keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get into it. I get asked all the time what colors on my nails how I paint my nails what products I use just all the things and so I figured it was time to do an updated nail tutorial of everything that I do so I did a video like this probably over a year ago now and that video is actually the most viewed video on my channel at the moment I got a lot of views on it and I think that it was helpful for a lot of people but I think it was a little bit darker so it was harder to see everything that I was doing and I've definitely updated some of the products and the techni techniques that I do now versus what I was doing then so I hope that this is helpful for you I'm gonna go step by step I'm gonna share every single product every single step how I do it share the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way I do just want to preface this and say I'm not a professional nail tech I'm not trained in anything I am just a girl who loves doing her nails I am also somebody who's decluttered like over 300 bottles of nail polish I have not gotten somebody to do the nails on my hands in over 10 years I paint my nails every single week by myself um, it's just something that I enjoy I find it to be therapeutic I think that it's really like a nice me time and I just love how freshly painted nails look. I don't like to leave the house with chipped nails. I just like the way that nice nails look. So that is kind of just like a little preface for you guys. I hope that this is helpful for you. Leave any questions that you have after watching this video in the comments. I will try and get back to you guys. I will also link every single product that I share in this video down below as well. To get started, these are all of the tools that I will be using today. I have some cotton balls with acetone to remove my current nail polish. I have a nail file, buffer, and cuticle tool. And then I also have my base coat, color, top coat, drying drops, and hand lotion. So all of these products will be linked down below for you guys. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take off my current nail polish. I did start picking at it, so it is pretty messed up at this point, but I'm just going to take my acetone. I actually buy new bottles of this and put them in this container because this does have the pop top and then this little thing that you can just push down. So you can just push your cotton ball right on top and then it gets it nice and saturated. I personally love acetone because it takes the nail polish off so easily. There's really no scrubbing involved like there are on other nail polishes. This does dry out your hands, which is why I always make sure I moisturize afterwards, but this is very, very effective. So this cotton ball obviously is done. And I kind of just use the same one, even though it looks completely full, my <laughs> hands look insane right now. But I'll just go back in with a little bit more acetone and clean them up. Now I have my plain unpainted nails. These are a bit longer than what I normally like my nails to be, so I will be filing them down. Since doing my last video, I have done a lot of research about filing my nails because this nail, my middle nail on my left hand for some reason, has been splitting a lot more than it ever has. I don't know if you can tell, just kind of right at the tip. It's definitely been splitting and I don't know what caused that. I've never had that issue before and so now I've been using a different nail file. This is my old nail file. I st I mean, I liked it, I loved it. I think it's so effective, but I know that when you use a file like this, it's really bad on your nails to go back and forth. That's something that can cause the layers of your nail to kind of pop up and cause splitting. And so I did some research and I found this on Amazon. This is a glass crystal nail file. And it doesn't seem like it could be effective. It looks like it seems smooth. It, it just didn't seem like it would work, but it actually does work. You can't hear it. It's so much quieter than a regular file, but it's just as effective. And you can go back and forth without causing any damage to your nails. 
I personally don't use nail cutters to cut my nails. I only file them because I think I have more control. So I normally go right along the sides and then I kind of twist it just to get, I like the kind of squared off look but rounded on the sides. So I like this part to be squared off. So I kind of go back and forth on the top and then I just kind of round out the sides. It's insane how smooth this leaves my nails feeling too. They don't feel rough at all. All of my nails are filed down. You can see this little pile of nail dust. So that is all from my nails, which is insane. So I'm just going to wipe this up and then we'll move on. Now that my nails are filed down, I am going to push my cuticles back using this little device. I have done a lot of research again since doing that first video and a lot of people said that it's really bad to cut your new cuticles which I used to cut them and now I don't know if you'll be able to see but my cuticles are very long so I don't cut them anymore but I do still push them back so this is not when you cut them off you're basically leaving everything exposed so you can get infections really easily and so now instead of cutting them off i do still push them back this is personal preference um, i have long cuticles so i do like to push them back just because it gives me a bit of a more clean look but to each their own i'm also very gentle and i did shower right before i did this so my skin is still pretty soft you want to make sure that your skin is soft when you're doing this so if you haven't showered or anything, you might want to just run your hands under some warm water for a few minutes before pushing your cuticles back. Now that my cuticles are pushed back, I am going to use this buffing block. This is a medium fine coarse buffing block. Each side has a different um, like coarseness on it. So there's the least coarse medium and then this one is the most coarse but it's still just a medium coarse buffing block. I don't like using the ones that are really coarse that have like the really big grains. I feel like they're way too abrasive. And so this one is just a really good option. I'm going to buff the sides of my nails and then the top this just gets all of the extra little pieces off of them and then buffs them and gets them ready for polish I just washed my hands to get all of the debris from filing and buffing off of them. There's always just little, I don't know, little pieces and dust and whatnot on my hands after filing. And so I just like to make sure that they are nice and clean. And now I'm going to go in and moisturize. I'm going to be using this lotion from Made With A Mission. And Made With A Mission is actually sponsoring this portion of today's video. So thank you so much for collaborating with me on this. This is the citrus lotion. It is a pure goat's milk lotion. You need the tiniest amount. Like I'm talking the tiniest amount. Like this is more than enough for my hands. Like I might have too much on here actually. This smells incredible. They also have a lavender scent, which smells amazing as well. Um, the thing that I love the most about this is that it is made from pure goat's milk in Kentucky at a farm. 
and they actually feed the goats a specific diet so that they have a lot of extra vitamins and nutrients to put into the lotion and it actually has anti-inflammatory and anti-aging benefits and if you're not aware your hands and your neck are some of the first things to show signs of aging so taking your care of the skin on your hands and your nails is incredibly important I also really like to moisturize my hands after I use acetone because it's super, super drying. So there's so many benefits to moisturizing, but also just using a really good moisturizer like this one. And I love that it has anti-aging benefits because you guys know I'm all about everything anti-aging. This is available at Whole Foods, which is so amazing. And they actually have uh, artisans that create the artwork for their packaging so you can submit your art and it could end up on their packages and i'm such a sucker for packaging you guys know how much i love cute packaging so this definitely wins in my book hop on into whole foods and smell this because it is just incredible and just feel it i wish that we had like feel of vision right now so you guys could feel how soft my hands are so thank you so much to made with a mission for sponsoring this portion of today's video after I moisturize, I'm just taking this little piece of tissue and I'm just going to wipe the actual nail off to make sure that I don't have any lotion on my nail. That's important because obviously you don't want anything on the nail. You just want your hands to be moisturized. So I'm good to go. Now that my nails are nice and cleaned off, I'm going to go in with my base coat. This is from LA Girl. It is the Calcium Nail Builder. I've been using this for years and years and years. It is my absolute favorite and I have nothing but good things to say about it. I know that you don't have to use a top or a base coat rather for the um, gel couture, but I personally like to because I don't like the polish to stain my nails and having a nice base coat helps with that. I've said this before, but I am left-handed, so I always paint my left hand first because I'm using my right hand, which is my non-dominant hand, and it's easier for me to use my right hand first while there's nothing wet on this hand, so I have less chances of messing it up. And then I have more control when I have wet polish on this hand because this is my dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, paint your right hand first. If you're left-handed, paint your left hand first. And then also, whatever hand you're on, paint the farthest nail from you so I'm paint, uh, this is my left hand. I'm painting my pinky first so that I can go to the closest. If you paint the closest nail, then you're like going to drag through the rest of your wet nails trying to paint the next nail. So I just go in with a quick base coat and then we will hop into the color. I've let this dry to the touch. So we're gonna move on with color. This is from the Essie Gel Couture line and you can use whatever mix of products you like. I've done a lot of trial and error and I've tried the Essie products and these are the products that work for me. So bear with me, if these don't work for you, don't use them, use whatever works the best for you. But I do like to use a base coat under this. If you don't want to, then don't. But this color will definitely stain my nails if I don't put a base coat on. So I have my base coat. Now I'm going to go in with this. This is the color 370, which is in Model Clicks. It's a really dark color, obviously. It's like a deep purpley color. And again, I'm going to go in and paint my left hand first. This polish has a really nice brush. So what I like to do is when I pull the brush out, this brush is a paddle brush. So I like to take off all the polish on that one side. So I'm going scraping it against the um, bottleneck of that. And then I have polish on this side of the brush. So what I'm going to do is again, starting with the nail farthest from me, I place my brush down, basically at the cuticle a little bit farther, push it back to the cuticle and then drag down. So I do that in the middle and then I do one on each side depending on what nail I'm on. It's not gonna look completely perfect and even right away and that's totally fine because you are going to do another coat. So you don't wanna do really, really thick coats otherwise it takes forever to dry and then it will dry unevenly. Also, don't worry if you get any on your skin. That's so easy to clean up at the end of it. So again, I'm going to dip in 
And I always, let me just clean this off so I can show you. I always pull the brush out. You can see the brush is wide, but then if you turn it, it's really narrow. So it's a paddle brush. It's wider on one side, but still really thin on this side. I like to pull the brush out of the bottle on the thick side so I can scrape that thick side and then this other thick side has the polish on me on it for me to use. So again, I'm going right in the middle, almost to the cuticle, pushing down, and then I'm gonna push back to the cuticle and to the end of the nail. The motion of putting the brush down and then pushing it back to the cuticle before uh, pulling the polish to the end of your nail helps me to get a really nice clean line around the cuticle as opposed to putting the brush down because I don't want any extra polish around my cuticles. It really helps me get just the smallest amount of polish really, really close to the cuticle, which is the point. My first coat is nice and dry to the touch. Another good way that I like to test if they're dry without messing them up is just take one hand and gently wipe it across your skin. If it feels sticky or pulls at all, it won't mess up the nails. You have to be very gentle, but it won't mess up the nails and then you can just test if it is still really wet. And another way just to see if they're completely set is I will tap the nails against each other. I can feel that they're still a little bit sticky because they're not set yet, which is fine. We're not gonna have them be completely set until this entire process is over, but they are dry enough for the second coat. So I'm gonna go in and do the exact same thing with this polish, and I'm using the exact same technique, so I'm just gonna fast forward you guys and go ahead and go through the second coat. Okay, my second coat is on, and as you can see, that really deepened up the color. It evened everything out, and now the color looks nice and even everywhere. I do have some of it on my skin, which again, I said we will fix that after the fact, but I'm going to let this dry for just a minute before I go in with my top coat. My second coat is dry enough to do my top coat and for top coat I'm using this from INM it is called out the door I've been using this top coat forever and I paint my nails exclusively I don't ever go get them done so I have this giant bottle of this product but it does come in just like the normal size um, I will link both of them down below in case you are interested but this I just do the exact same thing I take it in the bottle wipe the one side off and this does since this is the bigger bottle a lot comes off this brush is pretty long like the bristles are long so a lot of product gets onto this brush so i do like to wipe it off on one side and then on the other side up until like basically the end so there's like a little bubble of product Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can because it's clear, but it's really simple. I just do the exact same thing and just make sure that the entire nail is coated in this top coat. So again, we'll just repeat this on all of my nails and then move on. My second coat has been drying for about a minute now and I'm going to go in with these. These are from OPI. These are the drip dry drying drops. They come with this little dropper and they're like a little oil drying drop. I love these. You do your two coats of polish and then top coat. You let your top coat sit for a minute and then you can put these on and these will just speed up the process of drying. They also will help you move on with your life so you don't have to sit with wet nails for as long. So you just take the dropper and you drop like one or two drops onto each nail and it just kind of coats your nails and makes them nice and dry. 
So you can kind of see it as it moves along your nail. Once you put these on all of your nails, you just wait for another minute and let it kind of sit and dry a little bit. And then your nails will be dry to the touch. Now that the drying drops have been on my nails for about a minute, they are all dry, good to go. And I just, you can touch them so they don't feel sticky at all. They definitely aren't completely set. So if I dug my nail into them, they would definitely still dent. They're not completely, completely set yet, but they are dry to the touch so I could go about my day and just be a little bit careful with my nails so that I don't dent them or ruin them. I do have some polish on my actual skin that you can see. So what I like to do is I like to run my hands under warm water and the polish will just kind of fall off. Like I'll just take my nail and kind of rub around it and the polish will just come off. Another thing you can do is take a Q-tip with acetone. Just take a little Q-tip, take some of your acetone making sure not to get it on your freshly painted nails. So I'm just gonna dip a little bit in there and then like right here on the end, you can see, you can just touch it up like that. So there, oop, there are a couple of ways to get rid of the extra polish on your nails. After you get all of the extra polish off and you clean up your nails, you are done and your manicure is done. I do different steps in different orders sometimes. Like sometimes I will use the warm water method to get the extra paint off and if I do that then I will moisturize after that because obviously I don't want to be washing my hands, washing all the lotion off of them or I'll just moisturize again. Um, so there's different steps that I'll do in different orders depending on the day. But those are all of the steps that I do. I hope this was helpful for you guys. This is my finished manicure. As you can see, the color is really even. The nails are coated really nicely. Um, I just think that this method works really, really well. My manicure usually lasts me about 10 or so days. Usually it um, grows out before it's actually ruined and I have to redo it. So love this. Alrighty guys, that is my entire nail routine. I hope that you found it helpful or maybe you found a new product you want to try out, a new nail color, something. I hope that it was beneficial for you in some way. If it was, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.